One of the biggest problems facing these Mercedes is a broken window button. Nothing is worse than not being able to get your window open because the button broke. I'm going to show you a super quick fix. Don't care if you're a man or a woman. You'll be able to do this, get your window up in a minute. One minute. Here we go, folks. Okay, as you can see, it's dark outside and it was beginning, it's beginning to rain. Of course, because the driver's side window is in the down position. The first button usually to break is the driver's side button. Well, what do you do? You could tell it's broken because when you pull up on it, it's broken. <laughs> the window will not go up. Not a problem. What you want to do is you're going to swap out the good button on the, in the back here with the broken button switch them out how do you get the button out real easy you're going to need a thin screwdriver or a ultra thin key you push down lightly you stick the key in you just get that in here just like that and you pop it out just like that now you'll be able to find these on amazon or ebay usually it's under twenty dollars Anywhere from $7 to maybe $20. But if you buy them from Mercedes, you are going to be paying probably $33 for this little piece of plastic. So you pop it out. Now you want to make sure that your window works. Now we're doing the back window because I'm not about to take out the good one. Now how do you check it? Well, there's two little arms going up just like this. You're going to get the key or your little screwdriver and lightly pull up on the arm, your window should raise with your car ignition in the on position. If that's the case, it's just the button broken. So you're gonna swap the, the back one out with the uh, front one. The good thing is, is that uh, the back passenger door will still work. That button on that door will work, no problem. It's just that you won't be able to work it. So there you have it, a quick fix, and if they go in really easy, you just snap them right in there like this. So what happens now, I have the broken button in the back, now the driver's side button works. And I can replace the back one whenever I find a bargain, hopefully at a junkyard for a dollar. Thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up if you love this little tip.